the camera. <laughs> All right, take two. <laughs> Shut up. All right. <laughs> when are we ever going to have a normal introduction? <laughs> it's not possible. When? I can't do it. Hey guys! <laughs> Welcome back! Welcome back to another Power Trip Gaming Retrospective! Retrospective! Andy, what are we reviewing today? Don't you fucking do it! <laughs> I was gonna. Don't do it! Don't do it! Kickmaster! Kickmaster! Kick We're reviewing Master. Kickmaster! Keep your feet down! We're doing Kickmaster! Taito! It is published by Taito, you are correct. Yes. It is published what? by them. Bubble was... Bobble! Yes. No. No. It was developed by a company called KID. Kid! Kid! Never heard yeah. of them. No, I never what heard What else either. have they done? I have no freaking clue. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> but it was developed by Taito, yes, and Taito had a great reputation of either making their own games or else getting a really good team of developers together to make a really good game. Absolutely. So they, they put a lot of... They published a lot of really good games, actually. Taito had a pretty wealthy Taito, library. Taito had a good run. Yeah. Especially during the Nintendo era, I would say. In Super Nintendo they era. Done so. well, have they done anything past? Uh, I think they made it as far as uh, Sega Saturn, but Who I does? Think the company closed up, actually, in the early 2000s. Who did the... Oh, well, wasn't Taito... Didn't they still do Bust a Move? Yes. That was still yeah. Taito? Mm -hmm. okay. yep. I don't know if they still do Bust a Move games. I don't think so. Don't but anyways, there yes. So, Kickmaster... Okay, so, Master! Here we go, we're gonna fly right into it. Yes! Tell us a little bit about it, Andy. Uh, it's a game you kick shit. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it was... I have nothing. I've never played it before. Yeah, um, I mean, <laughs> what the fuck? Watch the video, you'll figure out what it's about. You're a dude, yeah. Thornalyn, you run around saving bitches. Yep, Thornalyn, you have to... Kick and stuff. Yeah, you've got to get, like, these special items, and you have to rescue the princess, basically. Yeah, so it it's was like very... a common story of 90% of, yeah. of the library of Nintendo. I'd say it was... Well, let's get into our thing. Um, difficulty. What, what, what would you say? See, this is a tricky one for us. I'll go, I'll start, if you, if you don't mind. Sure. Um... I gave it like a four or a five. <laughs> you get the after watching our our videos, the first up until the end, you get such a wide array of magic spells, and you have such an arsenal to yeah, fight the game. That's true. It's really not that hard of a game. No, it really isn't. I mean, you have infinite continues. I think there's even a password feature that yes, we, there is. we didn't utilize. Yeah, we didn't but, use it, but it, there's a password feature. I mean, yep. the game really was not that difficult. I can see it from that perspective, yeah. That is that is right. That I is mean, correct. Enemies generally took one hit. I mean, the only thing that made it super frustrating was annoying hitboxes. And and for the most combating part adding controls. Yes. Definitely. Um, my biggest gripe with the game and why I felt the difficulty would be generally a little bit higher for this game was because of the amount of glitches that I that, that we actually ran into. Yeah. There were times where the game actually glitched out and was more difficult in times when I was playing it. I, don't, I, I wouldn't say that it, it didn't happen to you per se, but there was a couple notable times where it happened to me. Yeah. Where all of a sudden the difficulty just ramped up to 11. It seemed um, like our final ascent to the final yeah. boss shifted in difficulty for some reason. Yeah. Where all of a sudden it's like in one part I will never forget where it starts raining these like these hell balls. These, yeah, hell balls. <laughs> and it's supposed to stop like after like a couple feet. Well, I ended up making it all the way to the boss and then the ball still didn't stop. Yeah. And I ended up beating the boss, but then because I still kept getting pelted with these balls, I ended up dying. <laughs> As Shut she, up. That's what she said. That is what she said. <laughs> But yes, you are right. I mean, that final ascent when suddenly the stalagmites were there. Yeah, and, suddenly and they, they were just were there. there, yeah. I mean, it didn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. Which, I know the game has multiple playthroughs and gets mm -hmm. harder every time. Yeah. So it almost felt like the game was glitching out and thinking we were on a different playthrough and these Maybe. things were coming up. It yeah. was very strange. It was mm -hmm. programmed very oddly. Yeah. But that honestly made the game more difficult. But as well, a, and, and the controls. But as a result, I would I would say that the, the difficulty, I, I would probably call it a five. I think mm -hmm. you're you're right in the sense that you have a limited continue. So once yeah. again, 
the place where you're continuing, I mean, when whenever you have unlimited continues, you're basically then just trying to persevere through the game. It's Pretty just much. whoever gives up first, the game or the player. <laughs> um, yeah, I would say. So that's... you'll you'll beat it if you just keep on going at it, but at the same time, the game is not, I mean, it's not a cakewalk, it's not a walk in the park. No. Um, there's a lot of grinding because there's RPG elements. I liked um, it, in it. I, I liked did, it a lot. I, I did like that, actually. We'll talk about that in the fun yeah. uh, fun review part. But, um, yeah, no, I, I honestly, I think that it's probably a middle of the road as yeah. far as difficulty goes. But, I mean, it, the thing that sucked the most, and I, I keep saying, is the combating the controls. When we reached, I think, level 4 or 5, when we got the... the the jump kick in the air. Or you're dashing. <laughs> it made more issues for us trying to attack than anything trying else. Trying to slide and kick. Yeah, All that of a sudden, was not consistent either. No, it was so yeah. frustrating trying. I mean, the game was super ambitious. I yes, loved the level up element. Yeah. Be getting new moves. I wish it would have told you what moves you had or got. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought, but I thought it was it was a very sweet touch. Yeah. Like, I, well, I suppose we'll move into fun since we're already talking sure. about it. Um, yeah. I gave it a seven. The game was fun. It's very ambitious. The graphics were gorgeous. I thought it was probably one of the better looking games on the Nintendo. The backgrounds were colorful and vibrant. Everything looked amazing. Uh, the music was really good. Yeah. I, I've just listened, watching the videos again, I was like, holy shit, dude, the soundtrack was super tight on it. I, uh, surprisingly, I'm gonna completely agree with you. Really? Seven, seven was what I would have given it for fun. Um, yeah. Because. For one, I mean, yes, the game came out actually super late in the life cycle of the Nintendo. It came out in 1992. Um, so, I mean, developers probably already had a working knowledge of, of how games kind of worked and what the limitations were. Yeah. But still, some of the, like, the background environments and the graphics were just so crisp and so tight. It had um, such a Castlevania feel to it. It really did. And honestly, I think that I, if I compared this to anything, it probably would be Castlevania. Absolutely. Just because, I mean, some of the enemies are, are even they, they fall like rips of <laughs> Castlevania. But um, the graphics, the crisp graphics, just mixed in with the kick-ass soundtrack i oh, even i even noted too i'm like this is like a rock soundtrack like this is something that i would like pop into my car and listen to absolutely while i'm driving um it was a fantastic soundtrack um the game itself while it was frustrating at times overall it really was a fun game it was i i, I couldn't argue with that because the no. game really was a hell of a lot of fun it had a decent challenge to it, it really did. i mean just the the game itself was very it was an enjoyable well put together experience yeah the only issue was controls yes controls and, were and not as tight sloppy hitboxes yeah. controls were not as tight as they should have been and that i think alone is what makes the game hard to play so mm -hmm. that comes down to one of those things where i think we talked about it in some game um does combating controls add to a difficulty of a game it's not supposed to it shouldn't supposed to yeah you're right it's it what should, was that it's not yeah you <laughs> I'm embarrassed. <laughs> but you're right, it shouldn't. Yeah. It, it, it really sh shouldn't. Controls and mechanics of the game should never affect the difficulty. You are not battling the controls, you are battling whatever the environment and the elements are that they put into the game. Right. It's not the controls themselves. Yeah. That exactly. does not make a difficult or a good challenging game. No. So that was one thing that... that but you're right, it was an overall... It it's was, a very it well put together game. It was I love very it. well put together. I yeah. really enjoyed the heck out of it. Yeah. Like I guess the only mm -hmm. hard part we had was that final level. That was it. Woo. I mean, whoo. Yeah. I got pretty heated. I said some shit I shouldn't have said. <laughs> I got very upset. Yes, yeah. you did. Yeah, I was, yes, not, did. I was not a happy fucking camper in that one. No. No, you weren't. I mean, our follow-up to this game was fucking, what, Taboo? It was. That tells you how fucking exhausted we were yeah. when we followed that game yeah. up with Taboo is Sixth Sense. Yeah, we were done. Oh my we, were just, God. we were just done. Yeah, it was pretty so. exhausting. But, um, fuck my butt. Right into price point. What did we pay for Kickmaster? Kickmaster. Please, stop it. See? Stop like, it. like a little Please. dude? Stop it. Keek master. <laughs> Alright, what did we pay for it? So, <laughs> so I... <laughs> <laughs> so, I... 
So when I got this game, um, this was actually, I think I had found it in probably like 2010, um, so about seven years ago. I paid $19.99 for this game, um, which was actually, Not bad. It, it, was, it, it was starting to, I think I when I had gotten it, it had just started like kind of going up because it was a $10, $15 game, and ironically enough, when I got it for 20 bucks, it started going down. But then <laughs> a couple years ago, it started going up, and now it's it actually seems to be on a slow it's, climb. Yeah, it's it's on a yeah, it's it's still on that climb. So, um, so yeah, I paid twenty bucks for it right now. As of well, uh, as of June, um, price charting has it at eighty one dollars. Eighty one bucks. Eighty one dollars. Um, do you so, think that's worth it? So with this one, again. <clears throat> I have to say, it's definitely worth what I paid for it. Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. The game itself is a great game. Would I pay eighty one dollars for it? Probably not. I'm not gonna lie. It's a great game. You'll really get into it, but at the same time, there's a lot better, more classic, just all star games out there that cost significantly less for it. I would rather spend the money on a Legacy of the Wizard, or I would <laughs> rather spend the money on a Guardian Legend. Metal I would, Storm. I would rather, well, and Metal Storm is, I think, a little bit more than that. But, oh, yes. But, uh, but yeah, I would probably put the money towards another, like, a, a different game. Um, yeah, if there's, if, if there's another expensive game out there that I would have wanted, I would have probably thought twice about, yeah. What, what I'm going to disagree with you. I think 81's actually worth it. I mean, if you think about it... Let's hear this. The game's gorgeous. I mean, graphically, sure the game's is. beautiful. Music-wise, it's great. Controls are a little lackluster, but they're still not bad. Okay. You get to play through that game three times. If you... If you choose, so to. choose to. Right, yeah. but I'm saying, you get a damn good yeah. long game. I mean, yeah, the game know. was long already. The game was like two hours at least. Yeah, three hours. so I mean, yeah. three times through it, and it gets mm -hmm. a little bit more difficult each time, that's a lot of content. Yeah, that is so, true. So, I mean, it's That's true. I would actually, as far as the more expensive Nintendo games go, this is on the bit of the lower side. 81's for for a higher shelf title isn't that bad. Like I said, Metal Storm is a great game. You know, when we mm -hmm. get in our review of that, it's a fantastic yeah. game, but it's more expensive. It's like, from what I recall, like $110. Yeah, it's over 100 You know, so, I mean, that's... It's still, this game is cheaper, and I think you'd still get a, a great deal out of it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's a fun experience. I mean, it's, it's Castlevania. It's fucking three it is, or whatever, but with, two. But with kicking. Kicking. Instead of whipping. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I I would say I, it's worth it. I agree with that point. I agree that you, yeah. you do get a lot of content, but I'm, I'm still going to keep still my decision because I still think that there is better out there for cheaper. Well, yeah. Yeah. So... But uh, yeah, that's not too. Bad. But yeah, no, it's, I I I agree with you. Actually, that's that's a pretty wow. good uh, pretty Thank good you. assumption. That's how I win all my arguments <laughs> with solid facts, baby. All right, well, shit. I mean, you got any other fun shit about this? I I wish I did. I don't. I got nothing either. You Take play as Thornalyn. The story. I mean, I don't even know. Thorlan. No, I thought it was Thornalyn. Thorn a lane. Yeah, maybe. It was like T H O R R N O L A N. Something. Because yeah, okay. I call him. Well, I say stupid shit in the game. <laughs> I mean, it was, a, it was a hard game. It was, yeah, it was difficult. I mean, it was. It was difficult. Fuck. The more I'm thinking about it, do you remember the flying chicken wing? It looked like a chicken wing with wings. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, yeah. Such a weird oh, game. Oh, jeez. Some of the things in that game were just so crazy. Off the the enemies were so weird. It's a lot of different items that you could, like, really use, too. I really like the inclusion that you could yeah. find, like, these secret items, but then by beating bosses, you ended up, like, getting more um, items that you could use, like, yeah. with your magic meter. The power-ups um, were super yeah, cool. The, yeah, the power-up, the, the leveling up aspect was absolutely phenomenal. I think they did yeah. a really good job with that, too, because you, with every, like, enemy that you destroyed, you ended up being able to... It sprouted it three sprouted items. three different right. items. And so you got to choose, okay, well, do I need health right now, or do I need experience... Um, magic. And then, and magic, and then sometimes they'll just kind of throw a, 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 a 
kink in the plans <laughs> and they'll throw some poison out there. An errant poison. An errant poison. Motherfuck. I love but, getting poison. I mean, it was it was cool. It, it was. I, it really I, was. We should probably should have touched on that earlier, but that was a really yeah. cool mechanic. Unfortunately, in our playthrough, our our um. The flicker Ancient. was so heavy oh, in that game. There was so much flicker, so much layering. You couldn't that, even see. You couldn't no. even see half of the specials that we were using. It's like bosses no. were losing life, and you're like, "Why? Why is that boss yeah. losing life?" It's or, because we're using lightning. Yeah, or you would hear us pick stuff up, but you don't see anything in the video. Yeah, yeah. Which um, we've been talking to Kevin. We're, we might throw around the idea of re-editing those videos to get rid of the flicker, so you guys could see everything. So you can actually see everything. Everything. Yeah. There's a few games we've done now where that's been an issue. Mm -hmm. um, um, but we're going to try to correct was, that. But this one was pretty heavy with, it, with that issue. Yeah, yeah. this one, and, and I believe Gun Knack was another oh, one where yeah, the flicker yeah. was super heavy. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try our best to redo those videos so you guys can get the full experience. But um, otherwise, I mean, the game's in the link description for watching it. Watch the yeah. videos. It was, Absolutely. It was a, a pretty good playthrough. It was a good playthrough. We Obviously, we were a little bit more upset and didn't have as much patience um i believe it was the first genuine frustrated moment it really was it really was um but honestly it's a great game so i mean if uh if you like side scrolling games with a little bit of the added action rpg element to it um it's a game that you should probably check out i mean it's, absolutely this one is borderline though it's it's uncommon to rare so i mean you really don't see this game very often at all i think in all the years that i had been searching for nintendo games i think i ran into this game just the one time that i ended up seeing it maybe maybe twice um but yeah, you, you really don't see but you often. don't see this one often so if you do get it um and you love action rpgs and side scrollers um yeah i would say you know what check it out um especially if, if you love the the nes era games yeah. Um, this one is is a strong contender to uh, to check Absolutely. out. Absolutely, one of the few so. games we've actually agreed on. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, yeah. So that'll do it. All right, Kickmaster. Hit us up on Facebook. Hit us up on Twitter. Check out PowerTripGaming.tv. It'll take you right to our YouTube channel so that you can check out all of our other playthroughs, including Kickmaster. Absolutely. Yeah. So there we go. So there we go. Next time on Power Trip Retrospective, we review something better. Because we don't have a better tagline. Fuck. We don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still working on it. I'm gonna call it out every single time. Even when you're like, you know what? I think that's becoming our tagline. No, it's not. I'm gonna call it out. I'm just gonna be like, you still hate it. <laughs> and they still think it's stupid. You know what is sad? You like it. It's growing on me. And it's growing on you, but it doesn't change the fact that they probably hate it and think that it's stupid. Well, they think everything we do is stupid. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Next time on Power Trip Reason. Gaming Retrospective, we'll review the shit out of another game. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, review next time shit. we won't review something better, because, like we mentioned, after Kickmaster was Taboo. Taboo. That's, a. Uh, Whew. Yeah. I don't want to do this anymore. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's it.